The video you're about to watch is a preview from one of my fashion design courses available online at Fashion Premier Academy. Okay, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to add fullness in the top of the sleeve, in the cap section. Fullness, gathers, sharing. Let's do it. Okay, so I've taken this sleeve we just finished and I'm stapling it to Manila because I'm going to use it as a sloper to create other sleeves. So you want to retain this information, the grain lines, and transfer the grain lines onto the other side. And the easiest way to do it is you take a push pin or the awl, if you have one. If not, two push pins will do. And we're going to make two little tiny holes right through the grain line, like one, say, around here, through and through, so it shows up on the other side, like this. And do the same thing uh, on the top section, say, like here, so you have a little tiny hole right there as well. And then with your ruler, you take your ruler and you literally connect the dots, so to speak. So you have a a new grain line right through the center of the sleeve which will match what's on this side right and then just connect the bicep level and there you have it okay so what if we wanted to add fullness in the cap fullness gathers shearing all the same thing uh, kind of like this, for example, or this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this sloper onto another piece of paper, dotted paper, and trace my pattern all the way around. And before I start tracing my pattern, I'm going to start by creating this grain line onto my dotted paper. So with your ruler, Create a center grain line and then you'll place your pattern like so and trace your pattern all the way around. Next, I'm going to cut this pattern out. Next, I'm going to use the slash and spread technique to add my fullness in the cap. I'm going to add some slash lines from the cap area to the wrist, several. I'll put two, uh, two on this side of the grain line and two on this side. Okay, here we have some slash lines. I'm going to slash and spread the pattern to add fullness on top. And next, I'm going to slash on my slash lines from the cap all the way down to your wrist level and just leave a little bit of paper attached so you don't detach it altogether. Just leave a little tiny bit of paper attached right there and you do that with all these guidelines. So I have slashed and spread my pattern in the cap area and you know how much fullness to add is really totally up to you. You could be it could be a couple of inches or you can really slash and spread it to add a lot of fullness. Next I'm using scotch tape to hold my pieces in place and the last thing to do is to recreate the cap section because right now I see it's all jagged it's all uneven so I'm going to create a nice smooth curve so the challenge here is to create a new smooth beautiful curve new cap um, section by blending all these odd points. In other words, 
So you have a point here and here and here and here and here and so on. So the idea is to find the middle uh, section, so to speak. So it would be somewhere in here like this. And I'm going to use my French curve or my hip curve to create a beautiful smooth line. And it would look something like this. And, you know, you might have to adjust your hip curve and maybe even use your French curve at times so that we have a beautiful smooth one continuous line that goes across here and then it continues onto the other side like this and it blends back into the original underarm. So then it's just a matter of cleaning it up and um, then that's pretty much done. So now you have fullness. All this will be gathered to fit into the armhole of the bodice. Okay? So that's how you do it. Thank you for watching this video. Check out all the courses available at Fashion Premier Academy by clicking the link below. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you will be notified when I post new videos, which is every week. I'll see you in class.